Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Najis Point TV, where we they give our correct, correct news concerning the current happening in Nigeria and every other news as well. So, guys, as you can see on the screen, this is from Street Journal. Two critically injured as gunmen attack Buhari's convoy in Castina. My people, when I see and say this thing, don't even reach our Buhari hometown too. This is the news, guys. Some dear devil men, gunmen, opened fire on um, President Mohammed Buhari advanced convoy deployed ahead of his trip to Dora Casino State for Salah celebration on Tuesday. They were, however, replied, reacting to the development in the statement made available to the street journal, presidential aide Garba Shewo held the presidential security guard for successful replying the attack. The presidency has described as sad and unwelcome the shooting incident near the Tema Casino State at uh, the convoy of the car carrying the advanced team of security protocol media team sorry media officers ahead of president mohammed buhari the attack has opened fire on the convoy from ambush position but we are re replied back by the military police dss personnel accompanying the convoy two persons in the convoy are receiving the treatment for the minor injury they suffered all the other personnel staff that you could miss so guys, as you can see on the um, screen, this is now the current happening and I'm also happy knowing that this attack happened in Buhari's hometown. It is very good that the attack hits Buhari convoy so that they will know that something like this can happen to anyone since they refuse to tackle the issue of insecurity in our country. My people, if the whole presidency can be attacked, what is the fate of an ordinary Nigerian? So my correct, correct people, this is not the reason why in this period of campaigning and um, soon election, make we try use our head, vote wisely, oh, as we don't vote umbrella, it, it, uh, the thing no work for us. We can't vote broom, the thing no work for us. Make we try vote person, human being, so that the person go uh, scrap the uh, this insecurity of a thing once and for all, my people. I saw someone wrote something concerning um, um, Buhari using his remaining time uh, in the office to deal with the terrorists squarely. I was, <laughs> I was like surprised seeing somebody writing something like this at this point in time. If Buhari could not tackle the issue of insecurity, since how many years he has been on that seat, is it now that Buhari will um, uh, fix the insecurity of it? In I don't think it's something that is going to work. So. Now is the period we should, you know, the next person that will be coming to the seats, let the person face the insecurity of the team and, you know, help the ordinary Nigerian to make sure that this thing is being done once and for all, my people. See how policemen and um, military personnel are being killed anyhow in the same Castina state. Yesterday, the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Aminu Umar Dai, in charge of uh, Dutema Area Command in Castina state, was ambushed and killed by bandits. So guys, the insecurity is too much and that is why I said I'm very happy seeing them being ambushed and also attacked so that they will see what an ordinary Nigeria can pass as in their, what they are passing through. If um, a whole presidency convoy can be attacked like this, guys, that means uh, no, no one is free in this our country. I'm telling you guys, nobody is free. Nobody is free. So, Guys, um, you know, this uh, will bring me to the end of uh, this video. And please do share my video. Subscribe. If you have not subscribed, please put your notification button on so that whenever I have any news, I can share with you people. And for my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. Bye.